Dang. So Woo! Okay. There, there's <laughs> that. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. We're back. Ryan and Doug and Tara. <laughs> oh, man, I got it's a promotion here. Doug yeah! and Tara and Ryan. <laughs> Doug and Tara and Ryan. How's it going? Yep, and before we get into Game of Thrones Episode 3 and or the recap, we've got a few uh, shout-outs shout outs to give. Yes, Some, we do. Come on, the Jones. First off. For Carly. For Carly, who she, sent us this adorable note. First, take a look at what she sent us. I don't know how many of you guys are super fans of ours, but we may have spoken in previous episodes about how we wished we had a Game of Thrones chess set. Or chess piece, chess anyways. Chess piece. So she, being so sweet, sent us this very cool chess piece. Along with the note so we know who gave it to us. You guys send us stuff and don't include your name in it. And it's like we have to do like private investigation to figure out who sent it. All right, well, she sent us. Since you had wanted a chess piece from Game of, from the Game of Thrones War Table, I had to get one for you, Carly. Thanks. Also, you could you can sticker this. I know. Sticker it. I don't want to. Then it would Why? be stuck somewhere. Why? It's just going to get bent on your office. Well, where would I sticker area? it? On the the board. We can put it on the board. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Sorry, Carly. My dad just doesn't think about these things. <laughs> Anyway, shout out another, to Carly. And we have another big, big shout out. Yeah, but before we get to that, let's do the the other one. Uh, so, uh, my boy Street, uh, thank you for uh, for thinking my, uh, I can't believe it's not butter thing was Oh my God, that was hilarious. That um, was so great. I and can't you, believe it's not Marjorie. And like you, you photoshopped it just perfectly. It's hilarious. So hopefully. Put it on Twitter for us. Yeah. You're, you want a job? He's, you can be our Twitter handler. He's beating the streets Art. For, uh, on Twitter, you know? It's, Art. It's, it's what's up. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Street. Now, lastly. But not leastly. John Conti. My man. Our homie. Get, get you, him, right? You see what he's got back there? We got Look it. at these things. We got, we got Aria. 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 Look at that. And the light's going to kind of mess with it a little bit, but. Aria. We've got Aria. That's her. We got trade. We've got <laughs> we got a trade. Good old Ned Stark. Ned Stark. Awesome. With, With the so two swords. swords. Yeah. Got both swords. Ice. I'm learned. I've just learned from you all commenting. That's the big one's ice. The one they melted down into two. Absurdly large. And you're correct. That was the sword that chopped his head off. Super fucked up. Yeah. You've got... And how did you know that before? Daenerys. Because I have You're attention because, to Because, no. Cheater. Because no, you have a girl at your house that tells you these things. But she's only watched You didn't see no detail. Three. There was no detail. But she, it was only in the book. She's only watched up, like, to season one. She's read the whole thing. Uh, Every time I go over there, she's she's skipping him things, and I'm like... Daenerys! Daenerys. Look in at her that. her Rocky gear. She is so hot. Look at her. <laughs> Dying. Jon Snow. John, you know nothing, Jon Snow. Look at that. And his black outfit with his cape and that nice sword that the guy gave him. Hey, Made Dad. of Valyrian steel. And uh, R.I.P. Last but not least, R.I.P. Rob Stark. We miss you. We love you. Get a good view of that. I know. How cool is that? How so cool, cool is that? That's super cool. That is amazing. Yeah. What would you John have? Conti. Thank you. You are the man. You made our week. Yeah, it really fills up the board over there. So, what and, would... uh, looks good. Looks good. It looks great. Scoot in, oh, sir. Yeah. Oh, don't Scoot don't in do. now. Come don't on now. Play yourself. We're, We're not strangers we here. We're not strangers. What would you have said if I had told you, even just a year ago, that you would be proudly showing off your Game of Thrones 
action. Figures. I would have thought you were <laughs> delirious. You had done some kind of hallucinogenic Are you drug. Are tripping and, or something? And drinking out of stuff. And a hat. And a hat. Yeah, I would have never like, thought oh, it was possible. It's the most fun day of the week for me. I used to hate Mondays. Now I'm like, woohoo, it's Monday. It's Game of Thrones Day. Woo! So thank you guys for that. Yeah. Thanks for including me in on that. Thanks for choosing me lightly because of my drinking vessel. Yes, mm -hmm. your delicate crystal glass. Oh, time for some shameless plugging. Shameless plugging oh, yeah, for Tara. This. I made this cardigan. It's pretty dope. And the headband that oh, goes with it. Oh, it's a matching headband, but this only took like an hour. Oh. And I'll say it again. If anybody wants to send like. She will make you something. 40 bucks. Yarn's expensive. I know it is, but we had told them earlier just the twenty dollars. Oh, twenty dollars? Yeah. Oh well, for twenty dollars, I can make you a little heart. But who doesn't want a little heart? Now that the yarn barns closed down, you know, it's it's you you really gotta you gotta muscle muscle some people at the craft. The yarn stores. barn closed. Yeah, down? The yarn barn right? closed down, man. <laughs> You're kidding? No, yeah. you know the one in Burke. Yeah. I yeah. Would, why? Why it's would like you think I wouldn't now. be going there if it wasn't there? I don't know. I thought you liked Michaels. I do, but if there was a yarn store that was literally like five minutes from my house, I don't you know think, I'd be going um, You know, I'm just not thinking. But if you send so 40, I'll make you like a hat or... And it's made with beanie love. beanie is what I meant to say, not a hat. It's not just made with love. It's made with skill, too. I mean, True. love only goes so far. That's, that's <laughs> talent as well. All right. Let's get into Game of Thrones. Okay, so... What happened last episode? Basically nothing. Yeah, okay. It's, you're right. Okay, let's. And away we. <laughs> All right. Okay, Joffrey, so, obviously the big thing. Joffrey, ding Joff dong, Joffrey's dead. The mean old king, the wicked king. Ding dong, the wicked king is dead. I've had a week to like digest this now, and I don't know. I you was, left with one theory and came back with like a theory in a whole new direction. Yep. Yep. Well, and now okay. I have another theory because I've just. Rewatched our reaction, uh, or that part of it rather, and um, now who do you think it is, dude? It could be anybody. I oh, I I'm kind of leaning toward Varys. You're leaning toward Varys. What threw you now is that you heard that. Well, uh, then I saw Marjorie. Saw really had the, Marjorie was the last yes. person that touched the vessel. To my to my yeah, that knowledge. was that was in the clip we but just saw. Was it even was it the pigeon pie or was it the poison? You know it what wouldn't I mean? be. See, I had the same thought when we were watching that. I was like, well, it could have been the pie, but they wouldn't do the pie because everybody else was also going to be eating that pie. Right. Marjorie had her own plate. They were going to start sharing. Like I had that same thought process. Yeah, they were and giving it immediately to everybody. talked myself out of it. I would but it was weird because he took my... a bite, and that's one. He immediately went. Well, no, he took a bite and was like, "Man, this is dry. Right. I need something to wash Tyrion, it down." Tyrion, Tyrion, so get over the here. The last thing he had was the wine. Okay. I wouldn't want live birds in my food. I know that's so gross. No, because they gross. poop. Yeah. And then and then he blood. killed and one of them. Yeah. I know, yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> and then, he was then they're on getting, bone. they're handing it out to everybody here. The bloody parts are for the poor people. Right. No, they're for the dogs. Right. No, the poor people, the poorest people that attended the wedding. Oh, oh. Because I'm assuming the cake gets eaten. I bet they didn't even give the scraps to the dogs after that. No, Cersei <laughs> said. Well, no, oh, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> yeah um, right. They might die. Probably. Um, yeah, so that happened. Uh, and now I kind of like, it, it was, it was anticlimactic. You know what I mean? He was such a good bad guy. I... I kind of miss him being the bad guy now. I know you just love to hate him. You love to hate him, right? Right. Like it's, who it's... do I, who do I hate with this level now? Yeah. Um, I mean, we... we have Ramsey, but he doesn't have that uppity. I don't know. Ramsey's just psychopathic. Yeah, but, yeah. but like Joffrey had that. That's like, how that last episode of... started with the hunt. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah That's pretty disturbing. And Theon totally did not kill him. Nah, just shaved him. Which, mm -hmm. I will say, even if Theon was, like, planning on killing him, I think that he was smart enough to know that this would not be the time but he's to broken. do that. He's broken. He's also broken. And his dad was not pleased. I mean, we needed Theon whole. I was going to trade him right. for this passageway. Yeah. So it's not your play thing or something yeah. along those lines. Like, he's... 
Well, as he said before, and the Red Witch Ramsey has his own way of doing those three things. guys. Yeah, Ramsey does have his own way of doing things. To say the least. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then we had the fire. Yeah, she killed her brother. And she seems just so amazed and just, wow, what a beautiful, wondrous thing. We just watched her eyes like. I know. <sighs> yeah. Did you see? And they, they, they had their sins washed away from the fire. And, uh, and she flirted with ooh. killing her own daughter. Yeah, she was like, the gods did this to her for a reason. So, yeah. everybody's drinking that Kool-Aid. Man. Still got one more leech to go. So, uh, I don't know. Well, Rob? they already let, um... Oh, oh yeah. Uh, it was, uh, Ramsey's dad. Bolton. Yeah, Bruce Bolton. I just call him Mr. Bolton. Mr. Bolton, and it was Mr. Bolton, Rob Stark, and... Joffrey. Joffrey. I thought it was, uh, the Greyjoy. I thought it was... Oh, oh you're, yeah, right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. See, you guys talk about my recall, man. Infallible, all right? Infallible recall. It does have good recall. I do. Not You'd be you... friends with recon. I was going to make a joke like that, but you beat me to the punch. <laughs> all right, guys, I think we've talked about just about everything we, we can have. talk about. And again, major kudos. Uh, to all of our yeah. wonderful Thank fans. Thank you guys for watching. Yes. And, um... And pushing us, we've got over 200,000 views. Wow. So, thank you so much. Awesome. Total? Total. Oh, I was going to say. That sounds like a total. Oh, and yeah, I... Yeah, no. It's just on one episode. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We're going viral, guys! Woo! I wish. I, uh... Well, now I remove the headband. And put on your Game of Thrones hat. There you go. You know, you could double those bad boys up. And it you might wouldn't be... see the headband, and it would just be stupid. Uh, all right. <laughs> it would just be stupid. Ryan. <laughs> all right. Ready? Okay. And away we, we go. go. You did this. You did this. <laughs> Facial expressions are priceless. Yeah. Where's his wife? Where's Sansa? Find her. Father gates of the city sees her. Where's Sansa? She was that quick to think of that? Where is she? Oh, no, she never liked the her. No one. I think it's blame Sansa. Well, it's oh, life. shit. Duh. Run. Like the two of them can fire. Yeah. Run, Sansa, run. Like little uh, black riding hood. Oh, about look to at come those in. clouds. Little black riding hood. Where are we? Baby she Jones looked like Melisandre when she took her hood. Oh my god, it's because she always has the hood and I she's know. always doing that. <laughs> and she has red hair. Does they're related? Sons have red hair? Yes. That's her main attribute. No, she's beautiful. Well, I mean, that's like her... You'd see it from across a crowd. She is beautiful. I love you so much. He beautiful. wanted her to climb up first so he could look up her dress. I don't know. I don't I'm know. I'm just kidding. It's that's a long close. Sorry I said that, guys. <laughs> Probably so if she fell, he could catch her. Right. You're right. Peter. Dude. Peter Baelish? Oh, Shady motherfucker. You're the one that poisoned Joffrey. It's one of your plots. It sure it is. I must not get her too safe. Softly, my friend. Boys is... How would he have the ship ready and all this plan if he didn't? He said know he's it was going go back. Down? He said he's going back. Yeah, but if he didn't know this was going down, he wouldn't have had this all set up. Yeah, I'm saying the Joker's going back. I know. I'm talking about Peter Baelish. I know, but we were early. Or we were discussing if but he was going right to row all the way back. True. He is. Okay, but now we're talking about Peter Baelish being the one that poisoned him. Yeah. Because if he didn't if he didn't know that was gonna go down, he wouldn't have had all this set up right. ready to go. Yeah. Right. Right. Absolutely. For sure. Why are you giving me this yeah, yeah, 
Like, duh. I sometimes just talk like that. I'm not trying to have No, an I know you. It, it was you a, don't it was know. A, I know you. It was like a multiple coin toss for me. It, it was like I was juggling quarters, right? Varys. Was it Varys? Was it Baelish? Was it... Um, I mean, L- Littlefinger Ogren. and ba- ba- uh, Varys are the smartest ones. Littlefinger and Bale, Little Littlefinger and Peter Baelish are the smartest. Littlefinger and Baelish. Those That's are the, the same two. person. Yeah, no, like, okay, all right. <laughs> you guys, it's confusing enough, man. I know. So you're not names. making it easy. All right. No, I remember when I first started, I kept calling him Baelish, and every Game of Thrones person that I was like, "What? Oh, Littlefinger." Why are you calling him Baelish? It's Littlefinger. Like I, I ever so many people got on my case about that, even though that's his name. Right, right. Peter Baelish. But, but by they the, call him Littlefinger. By the end, I never called him Baelish. Yeah. It was Littlefinger. Okay. All right. <sighs> oh no! Wait. Oh no! What the fuck? That's how he keeps his secrets, man. How do you think they would punish the girl who murdered the king? And he gave her that necklace. Did they even mention that the king was murdered? No. You're fucking now incriminating yourself, sir. What? Well, no, he just brought it up. As we were talking. He saved me. Saved you, my lady. He followed my orders. Every one of them. I know you've had a difficult day, but you're safe now, with me, sailing home. So am I the queen? More than you were with Renly. This would not be an opportune moment to press the issue. The world is overflowing with horrible things, but they're all a tray of cakes next to death. I love her. One of my husbands preferred the company of men and was stabbed through the heart. Another was happy as torturing animals and was poisoned at our wedding feast. Maybe it's you. <laughs> I think she agrees. You may not have enjoyed watching him die, but you enjoyed it more than you would have enjoyed being married to him. I can promise you that. You did wonderful work on Joffrey. The next one should be easier. Next one. The next one. The next one? Jesus Christ, that's fucking Brother creepy. Is dead. Well, fun fact. This was that actor's favorite scene he ever did. Really? Because he got to just lay down. <laughs> For the whole day. He just got he took a nap. With the stones on his eyes. I'm pretty sure my eyes are going to flinch. Can you guys just put rocks with eyeballs? No, they do that. I mean, yeah, they, they did that, that the, earlier. Yeah, oh, okay. when the king died. When the yeah. king died, they, I don't know what. It's their you know, thing, it's a, I guess. their thing. They put the rocks with I've the painted eyes on before. I never knew, like, stones. Well, this is Game of Thrones. Yeah. Gotcha. No, he quit acting. Because he was so bored. So bored. Because he didn't have many scenes. Yeah. And his scenes were very quick. Yeah. Up until the, the red, the, this the wedding. Purple wedding. The, the purple wedding. The purple wedding. Was Prince? That's not the name of the episode. No, but that's the same way the Red Wedding's not the name of that episode. Okay, okay, okay. But you had me thinking that the name was the Red Wedding. No, that's what the the Red Wedding wedding is called. But yeah, this is his favorite scene because he got to just chill out. Yeah, he was so happy. It kind of sounds like you. took a nap. I feel like it'd be hard not to like raise your chest and breathe. Well, that's why you go to sleep. What happens if you start snoring? Well, I, he's still young. You don't start yeah. snoring until you're like 30. It's true. It's very true. Do you know what that means? It means I'll become king. Yes, you will become king. What kind of king do you think you'll be? What is a good king's single most important quality? This is hardly the place of the time. Justice. Yeah. Good king must be just. Oris the first was just. He was murdered in his sleep after less than a year by his own brother. Got okay, Tywin, what is the most important yeah, thing? I don't for think a king? I want to be king at this point. You know what I mean? He's like it's like fucking like wow. lose lose situation. I don't know. I was looking actually, at your dead brother. I was actually <laughs> thinking, wow, Tywin's being kind of a fun teacher. Let's see him get to the right answer. I thought he was being cool. 
Yeah, but I mean, it's not. It's not like he this. sounds like a that. real teacher. Yeah, like right. what's the answer? Theocratic. He well, asks questions. But, but he's like doing it in a cool way where he's like, that could be true, but such blah, and blah, such blah. And such he and sounds such. like a cool teacher. Like you know, right. if it wasn't the topic, and, and then look at this little boy looking at his older brother with fucking rocks on his eyes. I know. And like how in old disbelief. Is Tommen. He's like twelve or something. No, he looks older than that. He's like 14. But I think he's supposed to be 12. And Tywin was just talking about how, like, uh, you know, Maybe this... 14? This 14. Other king made somebody, like, uh, a high priest or something like that that was 6? 12. Yeah, 6. Right, um, so what the fuck is the difference between a 6-year-old and a 12-year-old? It's both children. I mean, there's a vast difference between a 6-year-old and a 12-year-old. Yes, there's a vast difference between a 6-year-old and 12 They're both Maybe children. Maybe are talking they're... about, like, Mario Kart capabilities or something like no, that. No, that's no you I, I think you're kid. being a little... You've never had Silly. children. I've never had children. I've there's never had children either, but I know that there's a vast difference. Mm -hmm. There's a vast difference between their capability and their understanding and their There's also a vast making. difference between a 12-year-old and a 14-year-old. Exactly. When you're developing every year is vastly different Huge. than the next one. Yeah. Okay. I don't have kids. So. But I don't either, but I feel like I I think that way. I mean, at least when I was growing up, I knew I was like I was a different person every year. Pretty much. <laughs> I can attest uh, I was to that. I'm a completely different person every year, and and now I think I'm still 22. Right. <laughs> I said th I I still think you're 22. You still think you're 22. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hardly do that. Let's hear the right answer. What about strength? Yes, strength. Tywin likes that strength. King Robert was strong. He won the rebellion. He spent his time roaring and hunting and <laughs> drinking until the last two killed him. So what's the right answer? What do they all lack? Wisdom. Wisdom? Yes. There you go. Wisdom is what makes a good king. Yes. There is an end. I can't believe it. A house right. with great wealth and fertile land. Have you seen this Ask before? You for your yeah, but I don't remember shit. How do you know which choice is wise and which isn't? Cersei doesn't like this conversation. A wise king knows what he knows and what he doesn't. A wise young king listens to his counselors and heeds their advice until he comes of age. I think <clears> Cersei's <throat> unhappy that somebody his else is preaching logic to her kid Brother other than her. A good king. And Tywin's not been. even based. He's like, this one's even I'll easier to still be alive. Tywin's already thinking ahead. Yeah. A good king listens to his right. counselors. Exactly. And, so and does what they do, say, until they come just away. Just shut the fuck he's up thinking, and do what you're told. Yeah, just yeah. shut the fuck up and do what I tell you to do. But right. he's also being smart. Like, no kid is truly fit to rule. No. It would be wise to let an adult... True. Make the decision. And Tywin's quite the one. And Tywin knows he's smart and can handle it. Yeah. Like, I know Tywin wants to, like, rule, but he's not being dumb. Like, uh, he's th he's a fucking child. Like, he, he yeah, has yeah, no yeah, business Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. But he's way better than Joffrey. Joffrey. Well, I think so far. pretty much most of the people we've met are better picks than Joffrey. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody except, Is that what Marjorie uh, meant by the next one? Like she's got a way she Elena? You mean Olena? Elena. Elena. Right. Mm -hmm. So she's got to wait for that dude's balls to drop. They don't have to wait that. Oh. Well, then how do you? Yeah, That's why I, mean, I was thinking he's fourteen. Oh. Well, I mean, like, yeah, Walder Frey was marrying like thirteen-year-olds. Sansa well, got married, and there's... she's like fourteen. Or she was 14. No, she started and she was supposed to be like 12 or 13. Who? Sansa. She was married and she's still a kid. Right. It's probably not... She's well, a well-developed looking kid. But... Thank God I think typically that though, Tyrion's like, like respectful of that fact. Yeah. Like, no, I'm questioning that. I was talking just like marriage in the capital. Older, gentrified dudes, I think, used to marry like younger, fertile right. yeah. women. 
I don't think it kind of went the other yeah, way. Yeah, no, but it never went the other way where older he, women are marrying like kids that are not pubescent yet. Right. I guess the, the one exception would be uh, fucking Thirsty Cersei marrying the fucking sword swallower. <laughs> He's not a kid. He was the, he's way older. He's like but he's so much 20s. younger than she is. Yeah, but he's Well, like still in he's his 20s. like he's and in that his was 20s. the whole thing. They're like, dude, you're not even fertile anymore. That was like mentioned. Oh, yeah. Well, Cersei's old. Right. She's, She's not, not old. that old. My mom had me when she was 55. Damn, for real? Yeah. Catholic? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. I mean, because otherwise it just doesn't happen. No, right? and it was ten years after the last child she had. Bonus. It was. I was a. You were the baby. big surprise. Yeah. She thought she was done. Fifty-five. Well, thank yeah. God, God she wasn't. Her, man. Oof. Thank you, mom. <laughs> Did you come out like like real like tiny, or were you healthy? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. I was there, you but I wasn't pictures? weighing myself. They, this was a long time ago. They didn't have baby pictures. When were you born? 1872? He was born in the 50s. Oh, okay. 1959. Now you all know. <laughs> the cat's out of the bag. He's going to edit that shit out. I am. Ha, <laughs> fuck you. Come on. <laughs> Keep that shit in there. Okay, Ryan. I'm younger than I look, but I'm still old. Mom, if you're watching, I'm about to out your story. When I was younger and not thinking about keeping time with things, she told me she was 28 for like five years. And eventually I was around her sister and I was like, my mom's 28. And she's like, no, she's not. She's 35. And then she told me she was 35 for another three years. I think that's a mom thing. I added you. Well, you don't like being 26. No, but I, I don't like... Thinking about being 26. Lie and tell people I'm 22. Wait till you get to be 28. You could lie and say you're like 19. Like I know. I don't people even have still to say do. anything. I, I don't have to say anything. They How often do you get carded when you like... Go dude, over? I got carded until I was like 48 years old. Mm, not with this white halo going around here. I didn't have... Yeah, I didn't have I no... Have total white hair. White. I didn't have nothing. We always... True. You always leave at like 8.45. Yeah. Then I get home and Tracy's asleep. But I already showered, so I'm... And I appreciate that. I know. Now that Sitting I'm next to you. In a tank top. You know, yeah, especially. Armpits exposed. Fresh as a fucking kitten, man. <laughs> I've never heard before. that before. Kittens are fresh as shit, man. Yeah, they are. And so is Cersei. She doesn't look so fresh right now. Ah, uh, I'll bet she smells fresh. And why? The king needs a queen. And the hair is fresh. Why? The family line. He's being a dad to him. I know. And Cersei's pissed off because she doesn't like anyone parenting their kids, ex her kids, except for her. I'll see to that. His real dad. Yeah. Oh. You know, as much as I dislike Cersei, she's having a light. really bad day. Yes, she is. I know. Come down. Just like Right oh, on. Oh, Joffrey. Just to say even more, that's the prime napping spot. Little sunbeam on you. Yeah, but you've got the rocks on rocks your eyes. On your eyes. It's like Keeping you warm. warm. It's, it's like, like, it's like where cats nap he's in sunlight. Right. <laughs> he's taking a cat nap. <laughs> Awkward father and daughter. Uh, what? Father and sister... Brother and sister. Mother and father. Their, mother, yeah. Brother, father, sister, father, brother, mother. sister, mother, father. That was really hard to say. It was Tyrion. He killed him. He told me he would. No, he didn't. The day will come when you think you are safe and happy. And your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth. He did say he was, that, that's not but I don't think that's not about. what he meant. Kill Tyrion. Tyrion's my brother. Our brother. She doesn't want the truth. She just wants him dead. She wants someone to blame and she yeah. wants him dead. I have to. Jamie loves Tyrion. Though. He was awesome. I know he does. <laughs> 
Somebody needs to point the finger at Littlefinger. If you want to get to the bottom of this shit. Yeah, but nobody's pointing it there right now. She's always hated to. Finally, you get a little of that sister action, man. Been a long time coming. Right next to his dead son. You're a hateful woman. Why have the gods made me love a hateful woman? Jimmy, no, please. 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 Don't bang me on my dead son. Stop it. What? Just when you think things can't get any fucking weirder. <laughs> He's gonna rape his sister. Next to his de their dead son. Stop, stop right. Stop right. Stop right. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, they're gonna pull the body off. No. Oh. No. Ooh, really <laughs> right on top up. of them. That would have been. I always too forget much. that scene's gonna happen until right as it's <coughs> happening. I don't have a back to something more Maybe happy. Get one. I just point out the next map. <laughs> You're calling these two happy. It's making me laugh. I love these two. I know, but just like I was like, now that we're back to happy people, and they're like. Where are we? She's, I don't fucking know. She's like brushing like like insects off of like rotten vegetables. Like, where the fuck are we? Where are we going? But they're so much fun. No, they are so much fun. I was just laughing. Yeah, I mean, in comparison to no, that Jamie was, raping Cersei. Yeah, they did that, and they were like, okay, let's let's body. let's move us to Arya and the Hound. Let's get a. That was disturbing. That was yeah, disturbing. and normally you go. Oh, we're gonna just transition right to this happy scene. If there were like a botanical garden in the scene, I probably would have said that. Okay. <laughs> but like, there is not. So there's just insects and dead vegetables. The happiness is all mine because fucking Aria. Yeah. I know. I was just, I just started. Where's Aria? There she is, right there, dude. I just started a horror movie like a... starring Aria. Oh yeah. Haven't finished a what? it. A horror movie. A scary movie. Starring Arya? Starring Arya. What's it called? Arya Stark? I don't remember. I only watched the first five minutes, but I got... Um, Is she, did she have a needle? Weirdly, no. Well, then it's not Arya Stark. I'm sorry. Maisie Williams. Oh. That's she a cute has the name. cutest name. I know. That's a she? really cute name. Maisie. I want you there as soon as I can. Get my gold. Be in my way. On your way what? Why do you care? I'd like to see Bravos one day. Why Bravos? I have friends there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? What do I want? This is my land. Forgive my father. He was wounded fighting in the war. Our cottage burned down while he was gone. And my mother with it. Quick on her feet. Yeah. Which house did he fight for? Ooh. Starks. The Tully's of Riverrun. Hmm. Okay. Was it the right answer? Do. We don't have much, but any man that bled for House Tully is welcome to it. Thing. Little diplomacy. You don't have to kill everybody that's fucking <laughs> <laughs> messing with you, right? You know? We may feed ourselves and all who come to our door. We ask the warrior to give us courage in these days prayer. of strife and turmoil. Help us feed ourselves and everyone that comes to our door. Which of depravity. You going to do all seven of the fuckers? Father! We ask the smith to strengthen our hands and our backs so we may finish the work required of us. We ask they the both are to just guide. staring at He just food. wants to eat. So does she. And we ask the stranger not to kill us in our beds tonight for no damn reason at all. <laughs> Looks like he's starving. Yeah. She was just eating radishes. Really good. <laughs> really good. I was gonna send Sally North to stay with my brother, but the North's no better. The whole country's gone sour. 
Got any ale? Afraid not. Well, I do. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. That was a good sound. That was a good sound. Those raiders wouldn't stand a chance against you. That's true. And they didn't. And if any thieves came looking for easy pickings, one look at you, I bet they'd run the other way. It sounds like a good deal. Then you know offense. I know, right? What do you pay? But I have hidden a bit of silver from the bandits. Fair wages for fair work? Fair wages for fair work. She's like, really? You're not just gonna kill him and take the silver? <laughs> like, thought that was your fucking. I hero. know. What did you do? Get your horse saddle. You told me you weren't a thief. Okay. Aye, he took us in. He's a good man. His daughter makes a nice stew. And they'll both be dead come winter. Dead men don't need silver. You're the worst shit in the Seven Kingdoms. I just understand the way things are. How many stars they got to behead before you figure it out? Damn, that cuts deep. Yeah. Rip. Who's the wall? Corsley, ninth born son. There he is. Sam the Slayer. Going to visit your wildling horse? Yes. Right. Samuel Slayer. I Sam the Slayer. Huh. I need a shirt that says that. Hell yeah. Thirsty, Cersei, and Sam the Slayer. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. But you're the only one that saw it. And they all think you're just a what? Well a wildling. Makes me sound a bit dangerous doesn't it <laughs> talking to sam the slayer watch your tongue <laughs> i think he liked it <laughs> i did i did too so uh, are you all right uh, no one bothering you yeah, she's got to be like the only woman there she is the she only is. Woman, the, uh, woman there there's a hundred men lying awake at night picturing you and what about you Oh, fuck Aww. You. Make that a hundred and one, sweetheart. Come on, Sam. You're smart. You should learn. He may be Sam the Slayer, but he is not Sam the Flirter. He's not slaying that pussy, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you. For what? For worrying about me. Aww. Aww. That's gender. I would say they're the tenderest things about this show. So, what are you saying? Maybe right, you'd be safer in Molestown. Oh, Sam. Are you bored of me? Oh. Bored of you? <laughs> I. Come on, Sam, tell her how you feel. No, I, I want to protect you. You're so good with oh. words. You wizard, you. This is like a sweeter version of the Tyrion and yeah Tyrion and Shay scene we just had. That was much more tender, but basically the same reasoning. Right. Just Sam didn't call her a whore to make her mad. <laughs> Look at those eyes. Such a cutie baby. Pretty boy. So where? Little Sam. Little Sam. That's not a seed. No, but that's his name. I know. Joffrey, the usurper. Joffrey Baratheon. A leech filled with bastard blood. A bastard you set free. I'll find you an army of grace. I've been working day and night. What progress have you made? House Musgood is Musgood. And House Hay? House Hay? They don't Shit. have enough men between them to raid a pantry. Well, Westeros is not the world, Your Grace. We the Red Woman's magic is real. Her visions and prophecies may be too, but I've never heard of visions and prophecies winning a war. We don't have any gold. Not yet. 
I'm running out of time, Sir Davos. Which means you're running out of time. You're late. I'm sorry, Princess. I thought you weren't coming. You'll never read well if you move your lips. That's how children do it. Ho ho ho! That's how children do it. Called out! Well, it's full of sword fights and pirates. You were a pirate once. No, oh, I was never a pirate. I was a smuggler. What's the difference? Get the pirates to fight? Is that what you're thinking? What's he thinking? What are you thinking? What was that for? I need you to write a message to the officers of the Iron Bank of Bravos. Oh, what was the rest of it? Uh, we'll find out later, I guess. Or never. So Probably she's, the she's latter. Adventures, isn't it? She's like forging like a permission slip, you know? Like, you know, she's like literally like but signing so, it off as yeah, her dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty funny. Gilly's not happy. Oh. It'll fit right in. I don't like this. Where's she going? Looks so like the there's oars and shit. Yeah. Titties out. What? Titties out. I know. I saw that. Sam. <sighs> Lovely. Oh, she's beautiful. Her uh, daddy. She no. reminds me of, uh... You're gonna say... All I can think of is Tonks, and you get really mad when I say that. No, she, she reminds me of the Jack girl that Sparrow. was taking care of... Who? Jack Sparrow? No, 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 the girl that was taking care of Bran? Yeah. Yeah, you get mad when I call her Tonks. What's her name? I don't know. I, all I can ever remember is Tonks. Why? Because that's who she was in Harry Potter. No. No, I, that, I don't... that's the girl that takes care of Bran. Yeah. She was in Harry Potter first. Well, I don't like that. I know, that's, I, I just said you get mad I like her. I you, told, you said she's got big eyes. Yeah, she does. Wild. What's her name? I can't remember. I can never remember either. Come on, remember. I know. There's so much fun. You, you can't hit the We love him, and he, we hated him when time. she left because she, we're not going to see her anymore, and we love her. I, I feel really bad. She's just one of the only ones I can never remember the name for. Fuck, I can't either. All right, I can't either. We're going to get so many comments. I know. I hope so. I, I would like to memorize it. There'd be money. Give you a piece of it. No other work. She is not a whore. Ew. Ew. Yeah, it was gross. Ew. <laughs> Washing out the old sheepskin. Yep. I promise to come back and visit whenever I can. I kind of feel like she was... Ugh, disagree. I know, but Sam just is a worry wart. They're brothers of the Night's Watch, and I can't just stab them in the back. And I can't run away, which is what we did at Craster's. She thinks... He thinks she'll be you have safer here. I mean, in his the defense, best. there are hundreds and hundreds of people who were p put to the wall for being rapists. And, and she's the only girl there. And murderers. And she's but the this only doesn't look like a good place. They keep each other to their own code. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think that she's safer there. I think that I, that's one of his own. reasons that scares him. Because if any of... The men's watch do something to he her. He won't be able to do it. He anything. can't fight or argue with about it because he's more bonded to them than he is to her. Mm. So if somebody rapes him, he can't just like start a fight with them. But he's got to go back to the wall. He can't be with. He can't I protect her at all. I see his reasoning. I may disagree. I see his reasoning too. His reasoning. I do too. I just I'm conflicted here. I'm a little conflicted as well. Best for you. Gilly. Gilly. Please don't. I get it though. I'd be in a bad mood Please too. Please what? Please don't. Oh, oh my. This is Gilly. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> She's making herself right at home. Oh, I know. Oh, it's Oberyn's Oop. wife. 
Oberyn's wife. girlfriend. I think, not that's, his wife. I think that's his wife. Oh, no, he introduced her as his, like... Something. Man, they're having a grand old party. No? I'm sorry. You're lovely. I just... Boys and girls. Does that surprise you? Everyone has a preference. And everyone is missing half the world's pleasure. I hope I have as much stamina when I'm your age. What are you, 25? <sighs> Girls and boys will line up to fuck him till the day he dies. Uh oh. Whoa! No. What a buzzkill. <laughs> Would you like to see it? <laughs> no, thank you. Not on that cheek. I'm sorry about your grandson. Are you? <laughs> no. Are you interrogating me, Lord Tywin? Some believe King choked. Some believe the sky is blue because we live inside the eye of a blue-eyed giant. The king was poisoned. Your hatred for my family is rather well known. Rather suspicious. Why haven't you thrown me in a dungeon? There will be a trial for my son. And as custom dictates, three judges will render a verdict. I would like you to be the third. Why? I will also invite you to sit on the small council to serve as one of the new king's principal advisors. Hmm. You're saying you need us. That must be hard for you to admit. We need each other. Hmm. He didn't shake his hand, though. We didn't see it. See it, yeah. Podrick. Apologies for the stench. I brought you some wine, my lord, but they took it from me. A noble effort. <laughs> Any word of shame? I've heard nothing, my lord. I suppose that's a good thing. Do you believe I murdered Joffrey? No, my lord. He didn't. The world is a better place without him, but I had nothing to do with it. Have they announced the judges yet? Your father? Of course. Mace Tyrell, Prince Oberon of Dawn. I'll give it to my father. He never fails to take advantage of a family tragedy. Anyone who might testify on your behalf? Oh, I can call my own witnesses. My wife, Sansa. My lord, she's gone. Gone? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. That doesn't look good. No. No one had more cause to kill Joffrey than Sansa. But the girl's no assassin. And with my wife's disappearance, it makes me seem that much more guilty. Oh. Littlefinger. So he did plan that part. Who will? I don't know. They, they, the ominous they. Whenever something True. bad happens to me, I assume it's my sister that had a hand in it. She loves her children. She is the only one I'm certain had nothing to do with this murder. So is he thinking that Tywin actually it did it? I think he's going through every yeah, he's every trying to avenue. Yeah. You put a man in a cell and accuse him of a crime that he didn't commit, and he's going to try to find out who the fuck committed yeah. the crime. Yeah, and Tyrion's Tyrion, so he's gone down every single avenue. And Tywin is... Kind of top of the yeah, list. Yeah, he knew and, that yeah. Joffrey he couldn't handle, but Tommen he would be much more. And framing Tyrion, the son Which he, he hates, hates and wished he had died... Yeah. yeah, it would be. It's all too perfect. Mm. Which is I why never, it can't be. I still think it was Littlefinger. I. Well, Littlefinger. Littlefinger kinda, clearly had a hand at the very least. Littlefinger's clearly involved. Right. But who's to say? Yeah, maybe maybe maybe. I would Who's involved to say too. he worked alone? Yeah. Right. That was a very strange interaction between uh, Tywin and um, who's the new king now? Tommen. Uh, Tommen. 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 Too many T's, man. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah, like, he just immediately... Like, he was ready. Like, he knew that this speech was coming. It was almost as weird as incest happening on that same... Almost, but almost. Not, 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 not close, close at all. Not close. It just... It, not it, it almost... It just shows how, like... Nobody it gave was a fuck that he died. Happened. Nobody gave a fuck he died except for, like Cersei. you said, Cersei. Except for right. Cersei. And that's she, why he said just now, her only, I'm positive like, she's the only one. quality is her love for her children. Right. Yeah. Right. Which I think was a very... 
well-placed characteristic for such a person. Well, most mothers love their kids. I know, but she's just so horrible. Except for the fact that she just fiercely loves her children. I don't know. I think it's fantastic writing. That's all I was getting to. Any other witnesses, my lord? Varys could vouch for me if he dared. He's already been called as a witness for the Queen. Of course, my brother. Would they at least allow me to see Jamie? I'll ask, my lord. Yeah. That's his best bet. There's something else, my lord. He came to ask if I'd testify against you. I said I'd be named Sir Podrick Payne. Sir Podrick Payne? That's a nice ring to it. Are you going to accept their offer? My lord, you've been good to me, my lord. Pod, I will not have you die on my behalf. Do you hear me? Now, my lord. Pod, I am giving you an order. Go and find my brother and tell him I need him. If they'll kill Ned, they'll kill him. Tyrion's such a good guy. He's such a good dude, man. He just told him to testify against him to save his own life. I know. But he's kind of lost everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's still a, such a good guy. There has never lived a more loyal squire. Oh. Damn, I'm broing out. I'm broing out, dude. I I'm broing out. You're not crying, but your your eyes are wet. They're yeah. Otherwise, the it's because that gas that you got. Yeah, you know. chlorine gas, man. Sure. No one boils a potato better than your mum. She got this. Oh. Oh. Diamond. What the hell are they doing there? They're on their march. What they do. You know how to get to Castle Black? <laughs> Those dudes are super intimidating. Yeah. They're like preparing them to eat. I know. I'm going to eat your dead mama. And I'm going to eat your dead papa. Go tell the crows. At least he got out. I need to teach him a lesson about the way we deal with their kind. We go after them, we'll be giving them what they want. They want to draw us out and pick us off a few at a time. We must remember our first responsibility. You're a champion of the common people, Lord Snow. What do you say to Brother Pip's proposition? If the wildlings breach the wall, they'll roll over everything and everyone for a thousand miles before they reach an army that can stop them. We need to shore up Castle Black. And we need to defend the wall. One horn. It took you so long. We were held up. By what? Chains. Oh, the, the, the guy... The guy who was... Fucking all of his daughters. Craster. Yeah, remember the the other the other men on the watch started the riot and killed killed him and right. took control. Sorry, I just remember that that happened, and they just escaped from it. Carl's running things now. He's the one put a knife through Craster's mouth. It's not about justice. I told the wildlings we had over a thousand men at Castle Black alone. Ooh. How long do you think they'll keep that information to themselves when the wildlings are peeling their fingernails off? And even if every one of us kills a hundred wildlings, there's still not a thing we can do to stop them. Yay! Danny! Finally! <laughs> I was hoping for this all night. You gonna she in her no, beautiful no, no, no. blue outfit. This must be Marine. My favorite outfit. It must be Marine. Yeah. It's pretty. It must Marine. Look at her army. She's grown so much. I was holding the. 
I, I need one. Story. I I might buy it myself, but I need one in her, with her in that outfit. In the blue. Yeah. What is she wearing in that? The Dothraki oh. outfit. I might buy it just anyways. I love that outfit. I'm gonna get you one. Just crochet it. <laughs> a single rider. A champion of Marine. They want you to send your own champion against them. Imagine if this is how we dealt with politics these days. Like Trump yeah. fighting Biden. Pick your warrior. I would love to see Trump and Biden. No, no, I would not. If he means nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants oh, to is see he that. taking a piss? It looks like it. She's not impressed. <laughs> we're an army of men without man parts. What the fuck? I have something to say to the people of Marine. Yeah. How say about it. my dragon is my fucking champion? Do I have a champion? Grey worm. I come from nothing. And before long, I will return to nothing. There we go. Let me kill this man for you. Oh, very well. Yeah. You have quite an audience. He is very brave, your grace. Yes. Win or lose. Ew, he looks like he's preparing for the <laughs> Renaissance Festival. Are they jousting? Horses are faster than men. Horses are dumber than men. Both. I like how <laughs> they're just casually flirting before he like goes to murder this guy. Murder? I think he's coming to murder. Battle. Him. I, I should have said battle. <laughs> oh shit. He's pretty calm and collected there. Yeah, he's not doing nothing. Oh my god, he's so charming. Oh, what are you gonna do? Okay. Oh! More horse homicide. <laughs> yep. But that got him down. <laughs> oh! Dang. So Woo! Okay. There ah! is that. He's kind of hot. Look. <laughs> what the? All right. All right, sore looter. Oh, looters. is he gonna fucking whip his dick out? No way! No way! Ah! Wow! Would you? Do oh! Same? Fucking a! Freak. Young guy to hetrosa. Sirigno in cotiolzi. Diary. Diary. Cecil Merino. Sounds pretty good to me. Inside. Your enemies are beside you. Your masters. Sirigno laudisi sosenis. Oh. Semo sit meri belma se botteri. Chain breaker. Okay. Breaker. Breaker of chains. chains. Damn straight. Nigel Ford. Where's she got all those things? Her, her army. army. She's making this. Those are the shackles from the dead. Uh, oh, oh shit! I was gonna say they're not breaking the walls. That stuff they used to wear on their neck. Right. Oh or what they're wow! Wearing on their neck. That is so cool. That is pretty cool. I was like, they're not breaking any of the walls. They're not doing anything. No, it's yeah. a message. Just to show them, like it's you a can message. bring it down from yeah. the inside, man. You can bring it down from the inside. Oh. Which is a nice. good tactic because she doesn't have to lose any people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, wow. 
Whoa! <laughs> One episode! <laughs> Man! <laughs> so it looks like uh, Daenerys is staging a coup. Yeah, and, doing uh, her thing. Doing her thing, her yeah. Thing, That's wing. what she does, break her chains. Yeah. Oh, man, they threw those things over. So so my, my, my whole thing is, were, were those the collars that were on the people? The previous. That uh, they took down every mm. mile? Oh. I think so, because I remember them wearing the same kind of shirt. Yeah, well, and they came from Marines. And she said, take their collars off before you bury Correct. them. Right. Correct. Oh wow, that's what she had in mind. And she, she was that awesome, and her dragons weren't even in it. Yeah, that's She's right. She's that awesome on her own. I know. Though. If they were like, send me your champion, I'd be like, hold on, we haven't fed him in a couple days. And she's like, no, Woo-hoo! Dario, your yeah. turn. Oh, and he was awesome. I know. Except for just like, standing the there, stabbing the horse in the eye. But yeah, I but mean, it made him fall. But I mean, it was smart. He was just Oof. like, I'm not gonna tire myself out. Yeah. Yep. He pulled out that little And every knife, time Danny looks at him recently, it's always like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. She is Danny's champion. And a lot of people commented they like this Dario much better. I actually like him much better. Um, I go back and forth. I feel like when I'm watching the previous season and I'm seeing that Dario, I'm like, this is the Dario. This is the one I like. And then halfway into the next season, I'm like, this is my Dario. But it, it is cool that he has more of a sense of average, not like super, like, godly, handsome, strong. The, he had that chin, you know. And the teeth. But he was like, really cool. I, I, I honestly, I think that. He's got the crooked teeth like Cersei. I think that uh, the first notice. Dario would make more sense to me as someone that. That would Didn't be with Danny, her. yeah, because she's They're both so pretty. Her only, her only other guy has been um, fucking Aquaman. Yeah. So like. Drago. Drogo. Drogo. Yeah. I don't know. I like them both. I do too. I would have preferred them to just have one. Right. The whole time. I don't know the story. If actually somebody could comment why they switched actors, because I'm not positive. They just... switched actors because the blonde hair actor had a prior commitment that he couldn't continue well, into I, the next episode. I bet he felt pretty silly later. Yeah, he probably yeah, felt like if, he if did someone, make the wrong If someone him. could comment what he left for... <laughs> It's probably like Sharknado I would Three. Find Sharknado that, Three. Yeah, yeah if like, some, if, if I'm sure one of you guys knows, if you could please comment why he left Game of Thrones, I very and why he committed now. suicide two years later. What? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, if you left Game of Thrones, don't do that to me. Sorry. I was like, holy shit, really? <laughs> no, no, no. I wouldn't be surprised, but Dad. yeah, that's not so much. Joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the people that watch this show that have had someone close to them that have committed suicide it, it was not a joke yeah suicide sucks it's not funny no it's not um With that, oh look the pie night. yeah i know fuck <laughs> insert foot and mouth no, we're done I we're said... done good night no one oh. heard what i said no we didn't the pie the pigeon pie. oh look the pie Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> That's what we say now when we're in a weird, awkward position. Oh. The, oh, pie! the pie! The pie! The pie! The pie! It's here! That's golden. I know, right? I, I That needs to be the thing now when we record. Oh, look, the pie! Yeah. <laughs> I, I can get down with that. I can, too. It's just, it's gonna Even get if to no one else knows what I'm talking about. Oh, look, the pie! <laughs> Have you said that at, like, work? Yeah. Doug, are you drunk? Well, I, I'll tell you what I've done several times at work that no one has any clue and I don't give a shit. I go, just so everyone knows, I'm going to bed in like, 10, to minutes. Bed in like 10 minutes. You know how long you it's been since work? you watched that, that it's comedy so funny. special? It's, it's this chick. Her name's she's, Tig. Tit. Tig. Tig. And she's talking about, she goes, what she loves to do and she goes into a party. She doesn't know anybody there. And she'll walk into the living room and just go, Just so everyone knows, I'm going to bed in like 10 minutes. And, and then she walks out. <laughs> we, you know, oh, I would you, just like but to But you got to go to 
you got to be used to going to big parties. I would just like to right. comment. Who showed you that you. very funny you did. comedy special? Thank you, you did. You guys should all check it out. She's very funny. It's a dry See, humor. She's very funny. It's a dry humor, but it's very funny. She's very awkward. She's my kind of funny. Yeah. When I was in college, uh, we used to go to random parties. Uh, of course, they're all random. And uh, we would like just kind of like do like bets, you know? Like I'd be like, dude, I bet you won't get down to your underwear. And just go walk out and pretend like you're fully clothed. Which is, you know, it's pretty... It's dumb. No, it's dumb. And we were, like, wasted when we did this. But, like, people would just, like, pretend like you don't exist. Because it makes them uncomfortable. <laughs> right? And so... Uh, I don't know. So then it would go... Uh, it's so then, then it would be like, all right, I bet you won't do it naked. And I'd be like, bet. All right, let's go. And I would fucking, like, just turn on... Like, I would go take over the fucking... Jukebox, not jukebox, but the it was usually like a little. Yeah, did you party in the seventies? No, eighties. No, eighties. I would nineties. Nineties. Take, take over the music, and I would turn something on, and then I would just like strip, and I would just like go like the biggest dude, like I, all, I, I all the frat dudes, but all the frat dudes really well. I'd go up to the biggest dude, and I would just start like grinding on him, and. He knew because of the posse that I brought with me, like, he couldn't hurt me. I was, like, the, the scrawny dude, you know? But I was there with a bunch of guys. Like, we'd be, like, picking up the keg, like, ready to just, like, take the keg when we left. It, it, we did some stupid shit, man. It sounds like it. Yeah. Not my kind of party. Yeah, we used to steal kegs. We used to, yeah, I know. All kinds of dumb stuff. Dad, yeah, what would you have done if somebody did that Climb to you on people's at a party? roofs and take their antennas. Left. I would have left the party. <laughs> well, I would have said, "Let's get out. Let's get that out of here." That's so, anyways, the stuff. episode. Yeah, gosh, are we going to talk about it at all? Um. How so... about that? How about that? Like a uh, heartwarming like scene with Cersei and Jamie. Yeah, I was about to bring that up. Yeah, that man. was heartwarming. Oh, it, yeah. it you know what heart. sucked about it is Jamie had just been rising so much in our hearts. I know. And then but he got... fucking raped his sister in front of his dead son at the funeral. Yeah. I know. Just brings him right back down. It and, does. And you know what? The... That's what happens when he's not with Brienne. Do you know what the most messed up part about that whole scene was? What? I was thinking that they Did were going to get, it? like, found out. No, no, no. That whole scene was messed up. Oh, you general. thought that somebody but... was going to walk in? And I was like, what? Well, Maybe they can oh, roll geez. underneath. Maybe they can roll underneath the table. Oh. Somebody like I was like thinking about like oh, an my escape gosh. plan. Oh like, my god! That's where my mind was. Jamie and Cersei rolling under the table to hide. To hide. I don't oh. think there was an under the table. I think that it was, was a just solid, solid thing with just yeah. Like a, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think they decided. But I that would have made it even more. Fun. I can't like, imagine wait, wait, wait. Cersei like rolling to hide. No. No. no probably not. She would have been like. What? You're going to die! Yeah, All right. yeah that was that was super messed up. That was really messed up, yeah. Yeah, okay, and the Hound. Oh, yeah, I those mean... Those people being really nice to him. He didn't kill he, him. Like, he didn't kill him. He didn't kill him. No, he didn't. But he I took, think took the, the hound, rest of the silver they had. The hound hit him is over the dark head. enough to steal and, you know, knock him out, but I just don't think he's heartless enough to kill a man and his daughter... No, I think, he would have. Maybe not now. I think he would have. Maybe not now. Before I think he would have. I think he would have. If he hadn't been with Arya. Not been with Arya. Agreed. I think that they're both. I think they're both gaining one another's best qualities. I think that like that's their ascension. Like like is, the Hound is teaching her. The that, Hound's teaching her how to be a little bit heartless and how to not to like be stupid and, and no. How offense. many Starks do you have to see beheaded before you get it? See, yeah. And then she's giving him like humanity, humanity, and 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 respect and honor, you know. Um, so yeah, I think that that's their ascension as characters. I like as... it. Mm. Um, what sure. else? Littlefinger. Yeah, Littlefinger totally fucking poisoned that motherfucker. Dude. And then killed the oh fool. The, the fool. Dead men, dead well, men. Uh, he... Don't tell tales. Uh, uh, what he was, was it? He you did. can keep a man quiet with gold, but you can keep for a while. But for you, a while. But you can keep a, a 
a fool. You can keep a fool dead forever with a bolt to the chest, even though they shot him right Head. in the cheek. I think he said cheek. I think he said cheek. Nah, I think he said no, chest. No, I think he said cheek. Infallible recall. I think he said cheek. Infall Watch I'll let end. you know. I'll edit this episode. He said something regarding a cheek. Next week. I said cheek. No, he did. Oh, okay. Because I remember he said cheek, and I went, cheek, that's where he shot him. Funny. Not funny, but... Very when you re not when you re no 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 it's when you rewatch Game of Thrones long enough different lines resonate with you yeah not that I've, I've noticed seen it. every single time I've rewatched <laughs> it I've noticed that I'm like huh over different scenes like I, I never watch it the same way I right. feel like I've picked up stuff my first time that you guys missed well you can't talk till you watch it a second time or a third time and I I'm or a third you right time. Now, so they told so me. So far, where we are now, I've watched it three times. They told me that I could use their HBO Max. But you made a very good but point because like, you would be tempted. I, was like, I'm, I don't trust myself. I'm going I'm to binge it. And we appreciate it. that. But when we're done, you can use the I will HBO. take you up on that. Yes. But yep. I will give you the link to our uh, Vimeo so that you can watch the unedited things oh, that we've yeah. already done even uh, though that'd be cool it would with, be with, cool with if you just subscribe Tracy. to our patreon that'd be cool well he's not gonna subscribe to our patreon but i can give him the link yeah i guess i guess if video. you star in it you should be instead of watching just like the, our edited version <laughs> yeah you can watch you and tracy can watch the whole yeah the whole episode i won't get her to watch the whole thing okay. so sam and no because nah, she knows my banter dude you know what i mean like she yeah. knows so sam and gilly no more no moss. Well, for the time being. For the time being. I wish I knew that in Spanish. That would have been kind of cool. For the time being. Yeah, whatever that means in this show. I know, but it's just, I don't know. I, it hit me this time that, like, literally just an episode ago, Tyrion was doing the same thing to Shay, but a lot rougher. But in a different Shay way, was yeah. also a little more of a hard-headed person. Yeah, I never put the two together. But yeah, back to back, having to send away the woman you love because you love them. So, George Lucas said this, and and again, I'm a big Star Wars nerd, but I don't think George Lucas is like this great writer. I, I feel like he, he hired really good people, and that's why he's a freaking billionaire now. Talking to you, George, honestly. Um, I'm sure you're, you're watching. watching us. Yeah, no, definitely not. And I'm talking to you Star Wars fans, too. We yeah, know if there are any watching. of them out there. But... One very, very clever thing that he said was that, like, things needed to rhyme in a sense. So that's why you get, like, the, the trilogies, and that's why, like, so many similarities happen. Hmm. And so I'm looking at, at, at all of these, uh, like, big, well-orchestrated shows and, and, and movie trilogies and stuff, and I'm trying to think about, like, motifs and, and, and things rhyming. And so we had a bunch of weddings... You know, yeah, we had three in a row. We had three in a row. You know, we, we had two situations like that that you're talking about with, like, sending away someone for, for the betterment of, of their own being. Yeah. Uh, or That's cool. So, but it that's, like, the cadence that I think people have followed, and, and it's, it's George Lucas. Well, George Lucas didn't invent that. I know he didn't concept. invent that. I know he didn't invent that. But he, he uh... He kind of just, like, figured out what worked and then was like, fuck, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, like with Indiana Jones, all that shit. Like, have it's you, just, like, the same shit over and over again. Have you ever thought about how when you look up at the moon, it's the same moon that Cleopatra, Cleopatra looked at, the same moon that Antoine Marie Antoine. Antoine Marie. Marie Antoine. Mar yeah. Marie the Antoinette. same The same moon that, like, Christopher Columbus looked at, you know, anyone. And you know what? That rhymes too. They all died. The moon is killing people. Wake up, America! <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. sounds really familiar. I may have posted it earlier today. I posted it. I posted it. I posted it before you did. Are you sure? Yes. When? Like at 4 a.m.? 
I posted it last night at like 8 p.m. did not. I did. I, I got, didn't copy you. I got it from my coworker, Hannah. Shout out, Hannah. She posted it first and then I shared it. Apparently it's true. Are you sure you didn't share it for me? Yes. No. <laughs> but I don't think so. I would have known that. No. I wouldn't have shared it if it was from you. I saw it from my Facebook. Are you kidding? We both shared the same thing. The great minds think alike. You know what's funny, though? Is, uh, I guarantee you, unless you've never been in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean or Pacific Ocean, dead fucking center on a new moon night, full moon night, I'm sorry. New moon night, you can see all the stars. You can see yeah. Right, there's no, no moon. moon. But but full moon night, like, you, you right, can you see. Right, you can't see half the stars. Yeah. But you, well, in the middle of the ocean, though, yeah. you can still see, like, the Milky Way and, and, and. Oh, yeah, in the, the middle of the ocean. So yeah. that's, no. that's more like what they saw back in the day because there was no light pollution. Yeah, right. and it killed them. Yes, yeah, so stop looking at the moon. Wake up, Crazy. America. It's more dangerous than looking at, at uh, what was it? The Take solar your mask eclipse. off and yeah. stop looking at the moon. That'll just make you blind, you know, supposedly. I've looked at a solar eclipse. doesn't make you blind. I just think it's unrecommended. It's not right. I, I think any I think, more than staring I think straight when at the they sun. Say a that'll lot. make you blind. They're saying this is the worst case scenario of what could happen if you stare at the eclipse. They're not saying you're going to immediately go blind every single person that looks at the eclipse. Yeah, but the first time that I ever experienced that was when I was like eight years old, and they're like, "Don't look at the sun; it'll make you blind." And I was just well, like, "Well, that's what they're going to tell a child." <laughs> no, nope, you're wrong. Adults are lying. Santa Claus isn't real. Right. So Sorry, when, spoiler. So, so when you spoiler. start losing your eyesight in like five years, you'll know why. Right. No, when you I'll, got I'll just develop cataracts. Vocals. I'll develop cataracts as uh -huh. like, just like literally calluses uh -huh. on my eyeballs from staring okay, at guys, eclipses. Do we have anything more to say about no. Game of Thrones? We have to say goodnight. It's we have been, to say goodnight, This, yeah. this is going to be like the first two-hour episode. So long. Farewell. Hey, but one more, da, 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 one more, one more shout out though. Like those things are awesome. Yes, they are. Those are really awesome. awesome. Thank oh, you. So are over you. there now. So I know. We tilted the camera. Daddy stacked them, stacked them back up. He's your little jungle boy. He's ready for us to be done. I know. All right, guys, and on Jeez. that note, we are out of here. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Fucking Dungeons and Dragons and shit. All right. All cool. Right, you gotta go. I do. He's got to go. I'm gonna go. We're not gonna watch the rest of the show. Might as cool. well if we're all. I know it's evil. late, and I know that you want to go home. <laughs> He's got to go home. No. He was like, it's already eight o'clock. You know what? It is almost eight. I know. It's quarter row. Let's <laughs> just call it a night. Let's go. We can finish this on Saturday. Yeah. You barely had anything to drink. Can you give me a ride home? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Before he gets back out. I gotta unplug. It's all right, Doug. My mom was born in 1963. Where did you guys go? Did they leave? Where did they go? Hello?
Yeah, I don't know where they went, dude. I had to get her a lift. Oh, she's going home? Yeah. Really? It's almost 8 o'clock. Are we, are we just not going to finish the episode? No, or? me and you can finish. Oh, okay. Is she mad at me? Yes. She's so pissed. Come on, man. <laughs> Get her back? <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. I was like... What did I do? I didn't do anything. I'm just like checking out the action figures. Like, like all right, what did you we see? Waited, we were expecting you to come out and look for us. Well, Spirit gave me the tell that you guys were out there. Oh, we were around yeah. the corner, though. Spirit was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe they wanted to smoke a cigarette outside or something. I, you did it such a cool, I heard you go, I had to get her a lift, like, no nonsense tone. And he's like, well, are we, we're not going to finish it? And I'm like, no, me and you can finish it. He's like, okay, all right. And wow, then he's like, is she mad at me? I'm like, yeah, she's totally pissed. You guys like fuck with me more than you like watching this damn show. <laughs> well, like, we, we can't react to the show. It we, makes you feel better. He was like going to go back and check, and I was like, Tell him you had to get me a lift. <laughs> yeah. She just said that as I was walking back. If it's still recording, you'll just see me walking around. Like, I'm like, like ding the bell. I'm like, hello. It's still recording. <laughs> I didn't know I wanted to see that. So What's going on? That's going to Patreon. Is we're she, not, we're not deleting on feed. Is she mad at me? <laughs> you guys are, you guys are sick puppies. <laughs> We're a trip. You guys are, say it. We're a trip. <laughs>